Okay. So all of that to say, let's try to kind of fake some sort of real world units here as well as relative. So if we take our preference over here to the side, what we're going to be focused in the preference pile is we're going to be focused on transpose and transpose units. So right now, if I select the eyeball, and then I go into solo mode, so I'm looking only at that eyeball, and I go to move. You can go to move, scale, or rotate, doesn't matter. I can click on one side and drag out to the other. Now it's a little tricky because this measurement is not directly across, it's actually coming out in space. So if you rotate this, you can see that what we really want is to go along the camera plane side to side. So you might have to select this orange dot to adjust it and get that a little bit more accurately placed. Or if there's a rotation in his head then you have to adjust that. So right now I have this one eyeball set up and if you look in the corner it says it's 0 0.0298 units. So I have a choice here. Do I use relative or do I want to get into real world units? They're, it's the same, same thing basically. Let's say for example that I want to get into real world units and I know for a fact that this eyeball is let's say 26 millimeters. So inside of Maya I know that that's 26 millimeters. 26 millimeters equals one inch. Now uh, don't worry, I know you're an artist, not a mathematician, and trust me so am I. <laughs> I googled this, and you can google this. Just google what is the average size of the eye, and you'll see it. It's as they say 24, I think 24 or 25 millimeters. Okay, and then Again, you're not a mathematician. You don't, know, know, you don't need to know how many inches that is. Google millimeters to inches and then translate that. And it's like one inch. So that makes our life real easy. I'm going to go and just say, I, in Maya, this eyeball is one inch. And you know what? That's kind of cool because now suddenly relative and real world are the same because my eyeball is one inch. And Oliver Grimley told me, use the eyeball to measure everything. So how do I do that? You can see you've got unit scale and you've got calibration distance. So all you really have to do here is be a clever monkey. You put one in there, and if it adjusts to one up here, then you've done it right. If not, then you've got to switch it. And I spend a lot of time being a clever monkey, so I, I don't want to, I'm not putting clever monkeys down. I'm a very clever monkey. But in essence, you want to set calibration distance to one. That adjusts unit scale, which just means basically 33 ZBrush units, you know, are what one of these guys, you know what? Don't worry about it. That's n too complicated for this clever monkey. The most important thing is just get that number up in the corner right. So in this case, this transpose line here does become a caliper. So just like you're using some kind of caliper system, which all of us sculptors have, we have these calipers, these big huge devices that come in and connect, it's your caliper. It's much more than your caliper, but in essence that's what it is. So we've got one unit there, and now suddenly I want to know, I want to know how wide his teeth are. So I'm going to go into teeth, into solo mode, and I'm going to pull off and then pull it back. 
So now his teeth are 4.5 or 4.41 inches or eyeballs. It's all the same. How tall is he? Let's say the director has told us it has he has to be six feet. No, he has not this guy. He's got to be like 12 feet. Okay. Sometimes because it's not the active subtool, if I click in here, teeth of the active subtool. See, it's not selecting it, but what's confusing is that they have this threshold. <laughs> it's like if you're outside of this range, then we're going to move. If you're inside, then it's going to work. It's kind of neat. Okay, so I'm just going to drag this all the way off the model so that it's a straight line. And then I'm going to use these orange dots to move it back and move it back. Cool. So that means that he is 68 units. And 68 divided by 12 is how much? What? Five feet, you know? Five feet, eight inches. So now we know, you know, we can scale this up, in which case we're going to have to make his eyeballs superhuman. An average human's eyeballs are one inch. So in order to keep everything proportional and make him, let's say, nine feet, suddenly his eyeballs have to become these big, huge beasts. No problem, but these are all the things to consider. The other element with this caliper is your minor and major ticks. So we've got one minor. Let's just lower these all the way. OK, so minor ticks. Let's just lower that. Let's start here. Major ticks. Let's go here. One, two. Uh, it's messing up. Let's do this one later. Or, yeah. Let's do that one later. But you can get them adjusted. I'm actually using a release version, uh, not the other one. Uh, Michael, there's a question. How do you get there? Okay, never mind. Nate's going to help you out. Great. Okay, guys, any uh, questions about this measurement, you can email me because I know that in this meeting it's not going to be real uh, easy to get. And I know this is real, uh, this isn't sexy stuff. But understanding this measurement is going to be the first thing, it's one of the first things that goes wrong when you start importing models and you start doing that more with hard surface stuff. So we need to be mindful of how ZBrush calculates measurements and uh, how they're stored and how you can get real world stuff in there. So email, let us know if there's anything that we can do there. Now the other thing that's kind of really important to mention, and uh, we can do this on the body, is this idea of steps. Keep in mind, I, I press shift to lock this to an axis, by the way. But if I hold shift while I move this rotate, then he locks into position. How many steps? One, two, three, four. So I had one, two, three, four steps that I could move him through within, and this is important because the documentation is a little confusing, within a 90 degree arc. And that information is stored in uh, transpose rotation steps. So rotation steps really helps sort that up. But keep in mind, if you press control, this number that they have here isn't entirely accurate. 10 uh, and it snaps every 36 degrees.